Number 16. Write the mathematical expression for the reaction quotient, which is QC, for each of the following reactions. And then we have this reaction right here. So we have to write the QC for N2O4 gas, which comes to equilibrium with 2NO2 gas. The QC formula is a very uh, general formula, and it's this one right here. So I'm just going to put this over here. Now the C, and maybe I'll just say the C in QC stands for concentration, aka molarities. So when we actually start working with math, right, in numbers, we have to have molarity values that go into this equation. But for right now, we, we denote that it's molarity by using these brackets, okay? So all that it is to find a QC value, it's just your products divided by its, their reactants, and for each one of them, you raise it to the coefficient number, aka the big number in the front of each compound. But now you got to play by the rules. If we're using the QC formula, only aqueous and gas uh, substances are allowed. So the first thing you should do is check those states. But here, I got a gas and I got a gas. Since gases are allowed, both of these are going to be in my QC. So I'll give a check for this guy and I give a check for this guy. Okay, now let's, let's do the QC, right? QC formula is products divided by reactants. So let's work with the products first. My compound is NO2, so i got to put the brackets. That's the denotion, right? I'm going to say NO2. When you're writing your QC formula, you don't have to say that it's a gas. So we don't write the states anymore, but i got to raise it to its coefficient. There was a 2 in the front, so I have to raise this to the second. That's the only product. So now moving on to the reactant, I got to put the bracket. The compound was N2O4. Close the bracket. And now what's the coefficient? Well, there was nothing here, but that means that there was one, right? I only had one N2O4. So you can raise it to the first, but technically anything raised to the first is, is itself. So I don't have to do that. And there you go. You're done. This is the QC formula. And then once we get into it, you'll see how we're going to plug in numbers to solve for things. All right. But for right now, that's just the expression. I really hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button, like the video, tell your friends, tell your classmates. All right. I so very much appreciate it. And I appreciate you. All right. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.